Hey, what's going on, Alex? And thanks, Neil, for putting out your music. Love it. Uh, got hooked up on since uh, uh, friends from Ohio got it hooked on. But I will be seeing your show tomorrow night in Frankfurt for sure. Oh, are you in, uh, are you in the sur- are you in the service out there? No, no, no. I used to be, but now I'm here on my own. Uh, what do you do in we- Germany? Um, right now, just actually working as a in logistics, but. Uh, We'll see how things go. Uh, I'd like to stay in Germany. Uh, it seems like things are a little bit better here than the States, but at the second hand, um, feeling like uh, I'm leaving my brothers and sisters behind. Yeah, that's pretty sad when Germany's better than the U.S. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad country. It's just sad for people to say, man, Germany's a lot better than the United States. Because for people that yeah, have announced... Exactly, exactly. It's pretty sad. A lot of friends like, well, we're jealous that... You're over there. It seems like it, things are getting ten times worse here. Well, that's unfortunate. Do you have any questions or comments, uh, Chris, for Neil Fallon? Well, I'm um, fairly new uh, fan of Clutch, and if Clutch is a big supporter of Alex Jones, then I'm a big supporter of Clutch. Well, they certainly tune into the show some, and we have some of the same views, so it's good to have them. Thanks, Chris. Tim in New York. Tim, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hello, Alex. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah, uh, big fan. And I just had a quick uh, couple things to say. One is, uh, is Clutch going to be playing in the states here uh, when he comes back? And um, and I just wanted to know what do they think about uh, System of a Down bands of that nature? Do they are they aware of uh, their message and, and and things of that nature? Um, the short answer to your first question is yes. We got a, a short run uh, around Christmas time in the Northeast. We're playing in uh, Sayreville, New Jersey. Uh, that's North Jersey. Uh, I don't know where you're at in New York. I think we're also playing in, uh, I want to say we're playing in Buffalo as well, um, and Boston, and Washington, D.C., and Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, after that, not too much touring. And, yeah, we know a system of down, good friends of ours. Uh, we did a couple tours with those guys, and um, we see, we run into them every once in a while. All right, well, thank you very much, Alex. Keep up the good work, and I hope to catch you in Buffalo, Neil. All right, man. All right, fantastic. Let's talk to Freddie in Vegas. Freddie, you're on the air with the lead singer of Clutch. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, big fan. Um, just had a couple questions. First off, I just wanted to say um, thank you very much for um, everything you do. Uh, before I started listening to some of your movies and your radio show, I was just very, very, um, I just had, I was just very very mixed up and I just I didn't really understand the society I lived in and a lot of things didn't make sense and I was always in a state of like you know what the hell's going on and once I started listening to you everything started making sense and I'm like wow this is like a big scam <laughs> you know? well that's my main but, message is I don't claim to have all the answers but I know what we're being fed by mainline media and government is almost all spin and lies and the reality that we think we're living in is a fraud and I I actually don't like getting up in front of crowds. I liked it a little bit maybe 14 years ago. What I like is seeing other people fight tyranny, other people grow, other people learn that they are supermen. You see, that's my view. I get off on unlocking minds because I'm actually not unlocking them. I'm just showing people that there's a bigger universe uh, around them. Uh, What's your take on that statement, uh, Neil? Uh, uh, yes, I mean, if, if it's you, you can't do anything for somebody, you kind of have to show them the way, and they have to walk their own voyage, and you have to go through the dark night of the soul sometimes to to, to see the light of day, and that's just life. And it, you'll never stop learning. There'll be good days, and there'll be bad days, uh, but it, it, that's the reward will be much better because if you just live your life, you know in some kind of Norman Rockwell fantasy land, well then, well, that's just kind of tragic. Well, that's my bottom line, is that I wasn't unhappy as a teenager or in college, but I something was missing. And the something that was missing was that I was living this limited life in this limited spectrum, and now I am so fulfilled, it's almost like torture sometimes, not being able to turn off the information, not being able to un, you know turn off the understanding. I mean, sometimes I kind of wish... I could go back in the Matrix, but then I remember how bad the Matrix is. But it, 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 it it's still, it's very fulfilling, almost too fulfilling. Neil, do you ever feel like that? Uh, absolutely. I mean, I'm a bit of a news junkie, and sometimes you, you kind of overload yourself. Um, and 
it's just too much for you to wrap your head around. Um, and it, uh, I think the, the information age is a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because there's information and you can communicate across the world instantaneously, just like we're doing now. But at the same time, it could be almost schizophrenic with this kind of collective consciousness. It's like voices in your head sometimes. But it's important just to take it, you know, one step at a time and try to be as rational, and reasonable, and as focused as you can be. And Exactly, um, exactly, because you've got the people that are fully buying the mainline propaganda. Then you've got people kind of in the middle who are just questioning everything. Then you've got all the crazies who believe anything and everything and are kind of mean and, 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 and really just nasty. I do see all, it, it, it's almost toxic, like people woke up, but then they fell into a black hole. Do you see where I'm going with that, Neil? It's yeah. There's a lot of people that already have you know ulterior motives. They already decided what their views are. They're just going to use the information to cater and enforce their views. They're going to only accept what props it up, and they will deny anything that puts it into question. Um, for example, uh, Charles Manson already had his mind on murder when he, he just took the justification of the Beatles song "Helter Skelter" to to give him some kind of rationale in his in his pea brain about it. And there's a lot of people <laughs> that are suffering from the same thing. Well, I've already decided this person or that group's to blame, and I'm only going to listen to that. But you can't do that because at the end of the day, you're just falling into another matrix. Absolutely. People in the conspiracy world love to say it's this group or that group and only obsess on that. And they're in another tunnel vision system, another rat hole of the matrix, you could say. Man, this is an amazing, thought-provoking uh, interview. I knew it because his lyrics are so powerful. He's Neil Fallon. It's Clutch, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Stay with us.